Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Richard and I'm the Bull Rider. And today I wanted to talk to you about the carbon ceramic brake rotors that came as an optional extra on my Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera. And these carbon ceramic brakes are very unique because they're one of the first carbon ceramics ever produced by Lamborghini. Because of that, they're a little bit touchy and they're a little bit grabby, but I think it adds to the character of the car. But that's not what I wanted to talk to you about today. I wanted to talk to you about the carbon ceramic brake rotor bolts that actually came on the car. And the problem with this is that over time, they have a tendency to corrode and fall out of the car. Lamborghini did try to fix this with a recall, but the problem is, is that not all cars with the optional carbon ceramics were actually covered under this recall, mine included. So I knew this was a problem when I went to go actually pick up my car, and I actually inspected all the brake rotor bolts on all the carbon ceramic rotors to make sure that they were all there. But on the drive home from the dealership, these rotor bolts actually started falling out, and it became so bad that I only had two fasteners remaining back into my carbon ceramic brake rotor. And that's really dangerous because if I hit the brakes one more time, those bolts might have broken and I could have crashed my car right after I bought it. And we actually fixed this on a previous video because we installed recall hardware um, from Lamborghini onto these carbon ceramic rotors and they've been good ever since. But the problem with this recall hardware is that I was very lucky and able to find a brand new set on eBay for relatively cheap. But if you buy it from Lamborghini, a whole set of these brake rotor bolts is gonna be about $4,000. And personally, even though I do have the upgraded recall hardware on this car, I don't trust these fasteners for longer than five years. And I'm gonna treat it like any other service item on this car. But that still left me with the problem of thinking that I have to pay $4,000 every five years to replace these fasteners. But today I wanted to show you what I developed as a replacement to the upgraded Lamborghini hardware and something that's actually replaceable and serviceable over time. So let's pull this rotor off and we can go over to the bench and I'll show you what I developed. So we basically have three components. We have the carbon ceramic rotor, the stainless steel top hat that actually mounts to the car, and then we have the fastener assembly. And you can see I already removed one of the fastener assemblies so we can take a better look at it on the bench. So we have three different fasteners we can take a look at. We have the one that came on the Gyarado when it was new. We have the revised hardware that we just put on the car a couple months ago. And then we have the fastener that I made myself. And there's one main change that's critically important to what differentiates this from these two assemblies. So what originally came on the car was a grade 18.8 stainless steel fastener. And as you can see, the main failure mechanism was the fastener itself. The rest of this assembly was actually pretty good and pretty well designed overall. And they didn't change it comparative to the new revisions. So on the revised hardware, they went with a grade five titanium fastener. And this is great because you have a lot of tensile strength. You lose a little bit of weight and it also has really, really, really good corrosion inhibition properties. And that's the same thing I'm gonna be using on my revised hardware. Comparative to the original hardware, the recall kit is better by far. That doesn't answer the question though of what happens when you need to replace this recalled hardware itself. Because Lamborghini, after they fix it once, they're not gonna to wanna to fix it again. The big difference between what Lamborghini provides and what I provide is that all my components are completely off the shelf with the exception of the portion that touches the carbon ceramic rotor and the portion that touches the stainless steel hat. Everything else is completely rebuildable and completely off the shelf. So let's put this assembly onto the carbon ceramic rotor and I'll show you the complete differences between what I built and what Lamborghini provides. So this is what's called a two-piece rotor slash a floating rotor. So these two assemblies are actually independent of each other. And as the rotor rotates, this brake rotor self aligns axially to the hub itself. And in reality, this fastener doesn't really do much of anything. So it's actually this piece that couples the brake rotor to the stainless steel hat. And it's this shaft portion that provides bearing strength to the carbon ceramic rotor. And then it's these two flat portions that couple to the stainless steel hat. And then when I put this piece in there, you'll actually notice that it only constrains it on two sides. And this allows for that self-alignment action that I was discussing previously. And then on the back side of the rotor, we can install that titanium fastener that I showed you previously. And then with that titanium fastener in, this piece is actually coupled to the brake rotor itself, but it's not coupled to the stainless steel top hat. So now we need to find something that will prevent the stainless steel hat from flying off the rotor itself. But we don't wanna to apply too much pressure to it because we wanna keep the rotor independent from the stainless steel hat. So we have this piece that will apply pressure to the stainless steel hat itself, but it's still loose, so it's actually independent of the two. So when we put enough preload onto it, it will prevent the stainless steel hat from falling off, but it'll also allow the rotor and the stainless steel hat to still float independently of each other. And we're gonna allow for that preload with this thing called a Belleville washer. And you can see how a Belleville washer is a little bit cupped. So what it is, is it's, it acts like a spring. So when you squish down on it, 
it deforms into a flat shape, but it wants to spring back into its original cup shape like it is right now. What we're gonna do is use another washer and then a lock nut to deform that Belleville washer. So you may notice that the nut that I put on there is a lot different than the nut that Lamborghini has, but they both function in the same way. Both of them are all metal lock nuts and they both can only be used once. So both of these lock nuts at the top of the thread have a deformed portion. So what this does is it prevents it from backing off during like a high vibration cyclic loading type scenario. And you'll notice on the back of this nut, you'll see this huge surface and that's actually to compress that Belleville washer that we installed previously. But instead we just installed another flat washer and with that we'll still obtain the same mechanical properties that this nut has, but just with off the shelf components and we'll still be able to achieve the same amount of preload that we need on the top of this rotor hat. And these brake rotors are crazy expensive, but in all honesty, they should last you 200,000 miles or more. And I wanna know after 200,000 miles that these brake rotors will perform just as good as they did when they were brand new. And when I do replace this hardware in five years, I think I'll be ready. And if you like this video, please consider giving it a like. And until next time, thanks.